Hello everybody, let us now understand a theorem and let us try to prove it using the Euclid's axioms and postulates. The theorem here states two distinct lines cannot have more than one point in common. Let me repeat the statement for you. Two distinct lines, that means two different lines, they can intersect, they are intersecting. So this theorem says that they cannot intersect at two points or they cannot intersect at more than one point right let us try to understand this let us first make two distinct lines so here is my first line let us name it as line l and let us have one more line which is line m okay here it is let us name it as line m so aren't these two distinct lines, line L and line M. Now, for the time being, let us assume that these two lines are intersecting at two distinct points. Let us say point P and point Q and assume these points to be point of intersection, which doesn't appear to be intersecting over here, but we have just assumed it for the time being. As there are two points of intersection between two lines, that means what does it suggest? It suggests that there are two lines passing between two distinct points. Do you remember the axiom we just have derived? Axiom 5.1. It states that there can be only a single and unique line passing between two distinct points. So if I say so that for the time being, let lines L and M intersect at two points P and Q this implies there are two lines passing through two distinct points. But doesn't this contradict axiom 5.1? Yes, it is contradicting the axiom 5.1. Let me just uh, write it for you. Let us just remove these lines. Our assumption contradicts the axiom which states that there could be only a single line passing through two distinct points, right? So since it contradicts it, we can conclude, thus what we can do? Thus, we can conclude that there can be only one point in common between two distinct 
lines okay so i hope it is clear let me just revise it for you this theorem was about two distinct lines cannot have more than one point in common for that we have first assumed that there are two lines which have two points in common but since if we have two points in common it will have two lines passing between two points and it is going to contradict the axiom 5.1 so our assumption is wrong and we conclude that there can be only a single point between two distinct lines in common so i hope this makes it clear thank you so much